Hey, what's up you guys? It's Simply Me Diana and I just did my makeup without my glasses, thus not being able to see. So if you want to see how I got to this, keep on watching. Valentine's Day is coming up. What better way to spend the holiday than making yourself look like a million bucks while being um, not able to see. As some of you may know, I need glasses or contacts to see. I have bad vision. I'll leave my shitty eyesight video linked right here for you guys to see. So yeah, today I thought it would be kind of interesting to record myself doing my makeup without being able to see. Like I can't see, even the, when the mirror is like this close to my face, it's still kind of difficult to see because makeup is such a precise kind of art and it's really easy to mess up so I don't know where I'm going with this but I think I'll try to make it look as nice as possible and we can see if this would be a good little Valentine's Day look so yeah I think that'll be pretty interesting <laughs> the first step's gonna be kind of easy I'm just gonna be like taking this little coconut jojoba facial oil as like a little face primer kind of thing because my skin has been a desert when it has to come to dryness because it's winter it's cold as hell actually that's an oxymoron within itself it's been really cold up where i live in illinois it's so snowy and cold and the weather is really inclement so it's just not okay so i need my face to be soft in order for the rest of the makeup to stick on nicely. So I'm going to be mixing foundations like I normally do. I have the Fenty Pro Filter Foundation in shade 210 and I have the Maybelline Superstay in the shade 110. So this one's too dark for me. This one's too light for me. So I'm hoping these two mixed together will make a happy little medium. Um, The Fenty foundation dries out really, 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 really fast. So it's kind of important to work fast. But the thing is, I can't see, so my precision is kind of fucked right now. So I'm gonna try to my best to not make myself look like 27,000 bags of dicks. And we're gonna keep it going and just see how this ends up turning out. I can't really tell if I'm missing any spots, but I guess only time can tell. And when I put my glasses back on, it will really show how much of a shitty makeup artist I am. I'm gonna take the uh, Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Fair Neutral and I'm just gonna pop a little bit under my eyes just so I can brighten them up a little bit because I have really dark under eyes and I think it has to do with the fact that I've been stressed beyond belief this entire year and it's only February like it blows my mind that it's only February like I wish it was um at least spring I apologize for being as rambly as I have been but like you know how it goes I go a couple weeks at a time it seems especially recently without making any videos and it's like I've disappeared off the, the face of YouTube and when I come back I always have a lot to say so yeah, it actually took me a good second or two to actually want to sit down and record something because I've always wanted to, but like, because I have ideas. It's not that I don't have any inspiration or ideas. It's just like, you know, kind of, if it's feeling a little bit like a burden. Like, oh, I got to sit down and like record a video. Yay. And it's almost like I'm faking enthusiasm in a way. And I really don't want to do that. I want to be like energetic and enthusiastic and happy in front of the camera so I don't bring off like a false sense of happiness and I want my channel to have that good friendly vibe like yeah you can chill here it's all good and I don't know I just haven't been feeling it like all of 2018 I just really haven't like I've only rec it's already February and for all of this year all like six weeks that we've been into 2018 I have had one video up one video and that is pathetic on my part i don't know i just want to like enjoy life for what it is before i get even more stressed and upset and sad and move on with my life so i'm just gonna try to like roll through with it and keep going because like you know i want to do what i want to do for the time being and this is what i want to do i just want to play around with makeup and like 
ramble and ramble and ramble on and on senselessly in front of a camera and just see where it takes me like it's just kind of relaxing to just open my mind knowing that like it's on camera i mean it's probably annoying to hear after a while but you know it's just how i am and i just want to sit here and talk even though like none of you are probably listening to me or even care it's just like these are just the things on my mind so yeah, I don't know what else to tell you. Since I don't want to commit cosmetic suicide, I'm not going to take like a dip brow or like pomade of any kind. I'm just going to use a brow pencil because I feel like that would be easiest for me in this kind of situation. I'm going to take, I'm taking the ABH um, soft, what is it, soft brown? Chocolate brow definer. And I'm just going to be running that through my brows and kind of like filling in what I already have. Like I don't feel like defining, um, like you know anything too fancy and too much just gonna be kind of filling in its natural shape and yeah i think i'm gonna clean it up with concealer afterwards oh uh, no i think they're looking a little rough oh god Ugh. this is what i get for having horrible vision and wanting to do makeup so yeah I'm gonna look like a fucking clown by the end of this video. <laughs> so I'm gonna be taking Cube, which is like, it's like a weird iridescent white pink. It's a really sheer kind of shimmer shade. And I'm gonna be popping that on my inner corner. It's cute, like, I, it kind of reminds me of um, the Pink Heart highlighter in their Moonchild Glow Kit. So it's literally the same thing. It has the same kind of color. I'm gonna take this smaller blending brush and dip into New Wave. Like one dip and I got like full pigment on it. I'm just gonna run that on my lower lash line real quick here, just to give it some color and you know, some depth. I'm just taking a blending brush and trying my best to like get this all airbrushed and smoothed out, just so there aren't any harsh lines. So yeah, this is a, vibrant look like i wouldn't mind leaving the house with this kind of look it's cute she cute it's peachy and warm tone it kind of has like the pinky red tones that you would on valentine's day so yeah and now it is time for mascara so i'm going to curl my lashes right here real quick for mascara i'm gonna go in with the benefit roller lash and i really don't think i'm gonna put on false lashes like you can see my little thing of false lashes here with the reflection of the mirror just because like i'm really not up for that kind of patience right now like those lashes really aren't that hard to put on it's just that like i don't want to like mess up because i really need to see and like get it applied accurately for them to look somewhat decent so i'm just gonna like keep it on the down low right now and just do mascara for lips i'm just gonna be going in with a wet and wild liquid cat suit in the shade nudist peach these are only like 450 so you can get a lipstick under five dollars and it's really not that bad like the the quality is all right like it's not the best it doesn't really last that long but you know it's cute she's got some color dang you know not that bad really not that bad up close um these foundations together are really nice with when it comes to coverage but it's really really settling into my smile lines and like all like the little lines that i have on my face like i don't know if you can tell on camera but like i have hella smile lines so that's a little annoying but like from far away it looks really good the color matches and Eyeshadow looks alright for it coming from the subculture palette and not being able to see. Lipstick looks good. Eyebrows surprisingly don't look that bad. Cheeks are glowing and I think I did this relatively okay. So basically that was me doing my makeup without being able to see. And yeah, so I'm pretty sure people do this on a day-to-day -day basis and don't really have a problem with it. But with me, I have terrible vision. So just knowing that I'm able to do some kind of simple makeup look without being able to see clearly makes me kind of happy and kind of builds some kind of confidence within me. So I can wear makeup, wear my glasses, and just be like, oh, hey, how's it going? If you guys did like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel right down below and click the bell if you want to get notifications too 
know when I upload and it's really annoying to ask of that because I feel like everyone said it before like if you want to see my videos you would subscribe and be notified so like I kind of feel dumb reiterating and being redundant about that but you know you never know and as always I hope you guys had a great time watching this video because I had a great time making now see you guys in the next one bye bye and have a happy Valentine's Day